Hey relatives, I'm sitting here at this beautiful, beautiful spot in the Cannonball, what we call Oyanke, or the Cannonball Camp. And this is the site of the 1713 Sundance that was recorded in the John K. Bear winter count. It feels really strong with prayer and the presence of our people at this historic time. History is trying to repeat itself today with the news of the injunction coming and being lifted at our relative Standing Rock's request, which comes from the Humpapa and the Ihangtawana. But we haven't lost sight of our prayers. We have high hopes that we will prevail. We know that from Ihangtua, we have filed suit in the federal court. We also have made overtures to the Department of Justice to engage with us in some negotiations and talks about doing the right thing. The Department of Justice has already said that the system is broken. And so it doesn't make sense to continue to use a system that's broken and to use law to justify that system that's already broken. As we sit here around this, surrounded by thousands of our relatives here who are de determined to be here through the winter, which is gonna be a challenge for their generation. But right now we've been given a beautiful red day by the Cannonball River, the sound of the Wamakashka, the animals. It feels good uh, to have all the strong heart people here, youth, grandmas, relatives, children, animals, horses, in the words, of the grandpas and the grandmas from the ancestors from a long time ago, life is gonna go on and we are going to survive. The very fact that we're here is a symbol of our resistance and it's not gonna end here. And the prayers that we've laid here in this camp, they might be answered tonight, tomorrow, 50 years from now, 100 years from now, but the important thing is that they're unified prayers. We're asking all indigenous people throughout the world to stand with us on Indigenous Peoples Day because history is trying to repeat itself. On this day of all days, which has been changed from Columbus Day to Indigenous Peoples Day, the government, the judge, decides on this day to lift this injunction and to allow that digging of these sacred sites to continue. And there is no more sad repetition of history. It is similar to what happened with the dog attack, which happened on the day of the Whetstone Massacre. All of this history is being repeated over and over by the U.S. government, but history is going to change. All across the world, things are going to change, and we will change history. We always have hope, and we're, we're going to prevail. I ask our people not to lose hope, but to lay those prayers in a stronger, more enlightened way. We will always be here no matter how long it takes.